to start now. Hello viewers, welcome to another session of my pharmacology series. So today I'll be discussing about the autocoid drugs. So autocoid and the related drugs I'll be talking about. So some of the students they have requested me that uh, sir please do post for the autocoids and their mnemonics. So today I'll be particularly discussing about the autocoid drugs and the mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember the classification of the autocoid and related drugs. So viewers, particularly just, uh, just we are going to have a short review as to what are actually the autocoids. So when the, uh, the term autocoids, it is actually derived from a Greek word and therefore it can be split. It can be split into two uh, words that is auto and the next word is coids. So if the it's, autocoid is actually a Greek word, so it can be split into two parts that is the auto and the echos. So the first, the auto actually means self and echos means the healing substances or remedy. So viewers, particularly the autocoids, these are a wide variety of chemical substances which are released into the human body at the site of an injury or an insult. So, <clears throat> so autocoids, they also act as local hormones and therefore autocoids, they are also called as local hormones. All right, autocoids, they can also be called as local hormones since they are involved in a wide variety of physiological and pathological processes. So the autocoids, they are involved in various body physiological as well as pathological processes. Pathological processes. So the pathological processes can occur in the form of a reaction. These pathological processes can be that autocoids can be released into the human body, but just if when there is when there is going to occur an injury to the human body or when there occurs an immunological insult to the body. So uh, we are particularly focusing on the autocoids and the related drugs. So first. I'll be talking of that a number of useful drugs. There are drugs which are going to act. There are number of useful drugs act by modifying their action and metabolism. So autocoids, they um, the drugs we are the related drugs. What they do is they are going to either modify the action of the modify the action of the uh, autocoids or they can alter their metabolism. So while looking at the classical autocoids, the classical autocoids classification, the mnemonic or the short trick, what I have made is the word LAP, L-A-P. So if we just remember the word LAP, we can easily make out as to what are, what is the classification, what is the uh, classification of classical autocoids. So the classical autocoids can be derived, uh, can be uh, just easily remembered if we just remember the mnemonic that is LAP LAP. So, so L of the LAP refers to the lipid derived autocoids. So the L refers to the lipid derived autocoids. The A refers to the amine autocoids and the P refers to the peptide autocoids. So viewers, just uh, as to see, uh, we can uh, have a view as to what are these lipid derived autocoids. So the lipid derived autocoids commonly comprises, example comprises of the prostaglandins, the leukotrienes and the platelet activating factor. So under the heading of lipid derived autocoids, we are particularly involved, uh, the three main important classes of the compound include the prostaglandins, the leukotrienes and the platelet activating factor. Among the amine autocoids, the A of the amine autocoids refers to the histamines and the 5-hydroxytryptamine. That is histamine and 5-hydroxytryptamine, which is also called as the serotonin. Next, the P of the lab is re referring to the peptide autocoids. So these peptide autocoids, the best examples include the plasma kinins, the example that is the bradykinin and the kelidin. So viewers, in addition to this, so this was my mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember the classical autocoids, then the classification of the classical autocoids. So in addition to these, there are a variety of other autocoids, for example, the vasoactive intestinal peptide, the 
uh, serotonin, the histamine. Uh, there are uh, a large variety of other autocoids also. So viewers, uh, this was my analysis or short trick as to how we can very easily remember the what are autocoids and the classification of the classical autocoids. So viewers, if you do like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated.